Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be doing a foundation review and wear test, and I'm really excited about this one because I have heard such great positive feedback on this foundation. It is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skin Care. This wasn't really on my radar to review, but I kept seeing it like popping up in discussions in our Facebook group page, and then I have a friend here on YouTube that raves about it. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be uh, testing today. I will apply it. I'll zoom you guys close in. We'll see if it's buildable. We'll see if it meets all the claims that it says. And then we'll be checking in throughout the day to actually see how it wears. Um, before we get started, a little bit about my skin. I would say I have pretty normal um, to maybe combo skin. It's really, it kind of gets oily down here in the center of my face, particularly on my nose. My nose does produce a lot of oil, but I wouldn't say that my skin is excessively oily. Um, I think my biggest skincare you know, complaint maybe would be my large textured pores here. Uh, that is kind of what I tend to like notice m most when I'm looking for a foundation is something that is going to minimize those um, or at least at least not make them more obvious. Um, what else? What else? I don't have a whole lot of texture on my skin aside from that. I don't really have a whole lot of coverage that I need. I usually like to look for a medium coverage foundation. Um, full coverage is kind of not my cup of tea anymore. It just looks too heavy, but I do like a decent amount of coverage. I don't like anything super sheer on a day-to-day -day basis. So that is kind of the 411 on my skin. Before we get started with the application, let's talk about the claims and give you guys the 411 on this foundation. So this foundation claims to be more than just a foundation. It also claims to be skincare. It says that it hydrates the skin all day long. It keeps the skin very hydrated. It has a uh, hyaluronic acid in it. It has aloe vera extract in it. It has uh, vitamins E and B5. It also claims that after two weeks, your skin is uh, your actual skin when you're not wearing the foundation is smoother, the tone is more even, and your texture is visibly refined is what they say. And they're not saying reduced, but they're saying refined. And they are actually saying, you know, that that's how your skin will look even when you're not wearing the foundation. So this is actually a skincare treatment is uh, the claims that the site makes. It comes in 40 shades. It retails for $39.50 and you get one fluid ounce, which is pretty standard in foundations. It's a medium coverage foundation that is is buildable. It does say that it minimizes pores and it also claims to have a natural radiant finish, which I really like. It comes in 40 shades, which I mentioned, but the actual breakdown is it comes in four shades for the fair category. It comes in seven shades for the light category. It comes in eight shades for the medium category. It comes in 14 shades for the tan or rich category is what they call it. And it comes in seven shades for the deep category. So I do feel like they kind of have all the shade reigns covered. 40 shades in a foundation is pretty robust. So I do feel like, you know, they really covered all skin tones there. My shade, the shade that I picked up, I shouldn't say it's my shade because I'm not sure of that yet, but um, I went to my Ulta and this was the closest thing they had in stock to me. So um, I ended up going with this one. I think that I could have gone with slightly darker, but we will see when I actually get to apply this. This is the Medium Cool 30. So that's the shade that I got, Medium Cool 30. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm really excited about it. Some things that I have heard about this that really piqued my interest is that it really looks natural on the skin, that it doesn't look heavy, that it has a natural radiant finish. You know, I kind of lean more on natural matte. I kind of like that finish more just because I live in Texas and it's hot. So for for me, longevity is really important in a foundation. Um, but if it's a natural radiant finish foundation and it wears really well, then I'm all on board. So we're gonna test that out and see how it actually works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do one pump on my hand. This is what the foundation looks like. I feel like that does look like a promising color for me. I have said this before, but I do like, if I'm gonna go, I, I do like to maybe be one shade lighter in my foundation, just because when I go and add bronzer and blush, I feel like it really helps kind of give the face a natural highlight if your foundation is slightly lighter. Um, so as far as the consistency, it is starting to kind of slide down the hand, but it's not real watery. It's not a real watery, uh, finish and it's not like a mousse or a thicker either. It's just kind of a nice, uh, feels like a nice lightweight, yeah, nice lightweight, almost like a serum-y kind of texture to it, uh, foundation. So let me zoom you guys in closer and we will go ahead and get into the application. 
All right, so here we are, fresh face. I don't have anything on my skin aside from my skincare that I applied about two hours ago. I have not applied a primer. I don't like to apply primers when I do these foundation wear tests. Um, unless I test a foundation and I really don't like it the first day. Sorry, that was my mirror. <laughs> and I really don't like it the first day, then I will um, maybe a, do another day wear test and I'll try a different primer to see if that helps. But we're gonna see how this foundation performs on its own. So as you can see, you know, I talked about that texture. I mean, it's not like terribly bad. I don't like to complain about anything, but you know, it, I definitely have larger pores here. So I have to be careful with product that I use just to make sure that, you know, the products I'm using doesn't magnify that. So we're going to go in here and apply this in the center of the face. And, um, I'm actually going to apply it to like one half of my face and blend it before I go in, because I don't know if this is going to dry down quickly and I don't want to apply this all over and then it dries quickly and I don't have time to actually blend it in. Okay. And I would say I applied a pretty fair amount of product. I, I definitely feel like with this much, I should get some, you know, decent coverage. Now I'm using the BK beauty 106 brush and I'm just kind of pressing the face, pressing it into the face to see this brush will do a lot of work for you. If you just press it, there's really no need to kind of start, you know, doing little circular motions. I'll do that when I'm, when I've got the coverage that I want, and then I'll go out and blend it, uh, into the skin. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. So pressing is really going to help you achieve the most coverage from your foundation. If you go in right away and start wiping or working in circular motions, that'll just really blend it in quickly and almost shear it out a little bit. So if you're trying to get a lot of coverage, try this with your, um, your applicator first, whether it's this brush or it's another brush that you use, try just kind of pressing it in first. Ooh, that's really, really nice. Wow. That blended in really well. I do think the color is a good match. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. I like that looks really nice. Okay. So this is a pretty, I would say a moderate application. I didn't apply a ton, but I definitely, you know, applied a good amount. I didn't, I don't think I applied very little. Uh, and this is how the coverage looks. So again, this is bare skin with nothing on. And this is with kind of one moderate application of the foundation. Okay. I do feel like you can still see the skin through it, but it did a great job of giving good coverage. Uh, I don't really know that I would really build much from here. I think what I'll do is on this side, I'll apply a lighter application and see how sheer it is. And then I'll build. Cause I do like to see if you can build a foundation, some foundations you can't build, you'll put more on and then it'll just look heavy or settle in pores. Okay. Yeah. That's really nice. And I feel like it looks really, really natural. I feel like it looks natural. I don't really see makeup on the skin. It literally just looks like skin, like I'm having a really good skin day. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the other side. And here I'll apply a sheer, a more sheer application. And then we will, um, we'll probably get a more sheer coverage and then we'll go in and add more because I do want to see how it builds. And to achieve that, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of sheer it out with the brush. Yeah, this color is great. I think I nailed it actually. What you'll find with foundations that tend to lean more natural or light to medium coverage is that there's a little more flexibility in the shade range. When you're working with a full coverage foundation, there's a lot more pigment in the product. So you really kind of have to pick the right shade. Whereas a more sheer foundation, you could probably work with like, you know, th two to three different shades that'll work for you because they're not as, they're not as pigmented. Okay. All right, so there's an application that's applied a little lighter um, and more sheerly. And yeah, I definitely feel like I get more coverage here. You can still see, you know, my little, this one you, I don't really ever co ever cover because it's pretty dark. Um, you can't really cover it unless you use something really heavy duty, which I don't like. Um, but you can still see my skin through it. You can definitely see some here. It's still a little pink on my nose. I'm gonna go back and add a little more and we're gonna see how this builds. Just a little bit. And I'm actually just gonna go in with my brush now and we'll just kind of build it up here in the center of the face. Around the nose, I always tend to have a little pinkness there. A lot of us do. Okay. Oh yeah, that builds really nicely. Definitely got more coverage and it still looks really natural. It's not settling in my pores. Looks really natural. Okay. Let's add a tiny bit more here. Okay, I just wanna even us out. I feel like I went a little heavier here now. Ooh, that's really pretty. 
Ooh, okay. So there we are. I feel like this is a pretty, this is probably as much coverage as you could get from this foundation or as I need. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say it's as much as you could get because I could definitely try and add more, but I don't really feel like I need any more. I think that this gives me the coverage that I would typically want and it still looks really natural. And I do see that soft, natural, radiant finish in the foundation. Um, you still see a little bit of a glow. The skin looks hydrated. It doesn't look, oh, hello, I didn't mean to do that. Um, it still, it looks hydrated. It doesn't look flat or matte. It doesn't really look like I have makeup on. In my opinion, it really doesn't. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and apply my concealer and today I'm gonna be trying the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This also I picked up when I got the foundation. I'm excited to try this one because I have heard a lot of great things about this. The shade I got is Light Medium, 25H Light Medium. And let's see how this is on the hand. Okay, so I think this shade might be a little dark. It's pretty peachy. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of, I'm gonna, Concentrate it right here in the inner corner and kind of spread it out a little bit and I'm actually going to use my finger First because this feels a little thicker. I don't want to do the other eye I want to do this one first before it has time to dry because I feel like this would be a Texture that would dry down quicker. Okay, I'm just gonna use my finger The finger is great because you can get right there in that inner rim and I don't know about you guys But do you see like do you see how green that is? I mean the lights are helping me out here, but there's a lot of green there So I always make sure that I conceal really well there Okay, and then I'll take my finger and just take what's left, kind of put a little bit on my lid to cancel out any darkness. And then I'm gonna take the BK Beauty sponge and press it just to make sure that I absorb any excess because that concealer felt thick. But it looks good. And actually the color looks really good too. I like that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and apply it on the other side. It kind of reminds me, um, not as thick, but still like kind of that same texture of the It Cosmetics uh, concealer. Which one is it? The one that comes in the squeeze tube? Bye Bye Under Eye, is that the name of it? I really like that concealer, but that concealer is thick and you squeeze it out. Uh, this texture feels almost the same, not as thick, but it feels very similar. It's sticky, kind of tacky. Okay, use your finger. It gives great coverage though. I do feel like it's a, um, like it's almost, it's as good a coverage as the shape tape, I think, but the texture is very different. It's not as uh, dry. Okay, let's take our finger and blend that out. Concealer and foundation are the two products that you really wanna make sure you don't over apply because both will, both will age us. If you apply too much concealer or too much foundation, it just, magnifies any uh, texture that you have on the skin, whether it's a scar, acne, fine lines, wrinkles, pores. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now that the foundation has had a few minutes, I'm looking, it still hasn't changed much. I don't think that it's dried down at all. It looks about the same from when we first applied it. I am going to set it lightly with a Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, I always set under the eyes and I'm just going to kind of set the center of the face um, as well. And let's see, what brush are we gonna use? I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 108 brush. This is our precision powder brush. Um, I've been really loving this for powder because I've been um, really targeting where I apply my powder and it's just a great size for that. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in and powder my nose. I already feel it starting to get a little oily. And then I'm gonna go right underneath the eyes, set that. Then I'm gonna kind of set right up here on the forehead and the mouth. Okay, ooh, that looks so good. I like, I like, I really, really like. <laughs> I really don't know what else to say, but I love it. It looks very natural. It's got great coverage, but just the right amount, not too much. The finish looks really natural. I do think that it has softly blurred my pores. I do, I mean, they're still noticeable. It's not like, you know, super blurring, but um, it de definitely softened them for sure. Okay, this is really nice. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so we're back. I've got all my makeup on. It's actually been about an hour. I just almost walked out of here and forgot to film this part. I film, ended up filming this makeup tutorial and then I did a little work up here and I forgot that I needed to like recheck in with you guys and show you how the foundation looks. Um, so it's been on for about an hour and the foundation looks great. When I was doing my makeup in the tutorial video that you guys will see this look on later, I was just really like admiring the way my skin looks. It looks very natural. The coverage is definitely medium. I think that every 
claim it makes so far. Um, I agree with. It's a natural radiant finish. I did set it with a little bit of translucent powder, which you guys saw, um, but it looks very natural on the skin. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look um, like I have really much makeup on at all. Um, the pores do look a little bit more noticeable than they did an hour ago when I first applied it, so that is something that I'm noticing. As far as the concealer, um, the concealer I'm not really sure that I'm loving yet because I did have to um, kind of clean up some creases as I was doing my eye makeup, which, you know, it's called a creaseless concealer, so... I wasn't expecting that, but this is how the skin looks, so you guys can take a quick peek, and then I'll be back in later today to show you how things are wearing. It is currently 12.48 p.m., but again, I've already had this on for about an hour, so let's go with like 11.30 as being the time the makeup was applied, and then we'll check in probably this afternoon around 4, and then again this evening before I wash it off. But so far, I really like it. Let's see how it wears. Today's a pretty humid day. It's raining outside, but it's not hot, so I know that always affects how a foundation wears, but so far, I like the way this looks. Hey friends, it's about 4 p.m. So I've had the makeup on for almost five hours, right? About five hours. And I wanted to do a quick check-in. I haven't touched up at all yet. I haven't touched up at all. And I'm standing here in front of a big window. So I'm just using natural light. And this the uh, foundation looks really, really nice. I don't feel excessively shiny. I feel like the finish kind of remained the same from earlier. I don't feel like it's fading at all. I haven't had to wear a mask yet, but I am about to leave to take the kids to a doctor's appointment and I will be wearing a mask. So um, I will be able to tell at my next check-in if any transferred or wore off. Um, but everything is looking really, really good. Um, I did, I do think that I've had a little um, creasing with the concealer though. Uh, and I do feel like the concealer is kind of faded. It doesn't seem to have as much coverage. Like the staying power of the concealer on me today hasn't been what I was hoping it would be. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little check-in. Again, this is about the um, four and a half hour mark or so. Looks pretty good. Still looking pretty good, going strong. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna take the kids to their appointment and then I'll check in with you guys this evening before I uh, wash this off. Hopefully things, um, hopefully it still looks like it does now because I think it looks really good. And it hasn't changed either. The color hasn't oxidized or turned darker on me, so it's a bonus. Hey friends, it's 8.45 p.m. I'm getting ready for bed here shortly. I'm gonna be washing my makeup off, so I wanted to come up here real quickly, take a peek in the mirror and show you how things are looking. All right, so I wanted to zoom you guys in so you could get a really good look at the skin and see how the foundation and the concealer has worn on me throughout the day. It has been about nine hours now since the first application. I did touch up with powder earlier today, but I haven't touched up uh, since then. I did take a brush, just kind of a clean brush and just kind of absorb any shine or oil, but I didn't add any powder to the brush. Um, okay, so before we talk about the foundation, I wanna talk about the concealer. Um, I feel like it's faded quite a bit. I feel like there are spots that almost seem to be completely gone. It also has caused my uh, shadow and my mascara to uh, smudge. I can see little spots of mascara here and I'm going to assume that's because the texture of the concealer is so thick and creamy and emollient that it, um, you know, especially if you're in a hot climate or you have oily skin, it can kind of, your skin can heat up and it can cause the under eye makeup to uh, transfer. So I definitely see that happening. Not a huge fan. Um, and I do feel like I applied it in a way that absorbed any excess. Like I used the sponge to really apply it. So I don't think that I applied too much. However, I hear so many great things about this concealer. What am I doing wrong? Please let me know if you love this concealer, how you like to use it. Um, yeah, because judging by today, I would say I'm not a fan of the concealer. Um, I liked how it looked initially, but as far as longevity, it's just not there. So that's my thoughts on the concealer. The foundation. All right, so I am looking at the skin and there are certain areas that look better than others. Overall, I think the skin looks pretty good considered, considering that it's been nine hours, that this is more of a natural radiant finish foundation. I didn't really see any claims on the foundation to be a long wearing foundation. So, uh, I should say that I should say that looking at this, I don't, I wouldn't say that it's one of the longer found wearing foundations that I own. Definitely not. It looked really, really good up until I think about maybe two hours ago, two or three hours ago, even at my last check-in, I thought the skin looked really nice. At this point though, I do see it kind of settling in pores and around my nose. That typically happens with most radiant finished foundations or any foundation that it doesn't have a long wear claim usually always ends up kind of settling and gathering 
lathering right here around my nose, which is not too bad. There's a little bit of it, but not too bad. I think the biggest complaint that I would have would be how it settled in some of my larger pores here. I did have a mask. I went to the doctor with the girls earlier and I was wearing a mask for about an hour. Um, and you know, I think that it stayed on pretty well. Um, there are some parts that look a little more worn, like right here on my nose. It seemed to have transferred off, which makes sense because that's where my mask is the tightest. Uh, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. I would say this foundation is really ideal for someone with dry skin, uh, someone that has maybe more mature dehydrated skin, someone that likes a radiant finish foundation. Um, if you are someone that really needs longevity out of a foundation, like you need it to wear and look good for eight hours or more, or you have oily skin, I don't really know that this is the foundation for you. It's beautiful, it's very natural looking, and it gives a very natural medium coverage. Um, I just don't know that it's the it's there in, as far as longevity. Um, but it's interesting because the It CC Cream, I, I uh, haven't worn that in a while, but that was one of my favorites like foundation CC creams for the longest time. I think that is such a beautiful product on the skin, but I always uh, left the disclaimer that it does not last throughout the day. That's just how the It CC Cream is. It's beautiful, but it's beautiful for a few hours, maybe four, five, six hours, maybe max, but you're not gonna get a long wear, like flawless finish all day long. And I think this definitely has more stain power and wear longevity than the It CC Cream, but I wouldn't compare it to something like my Dior Forever Foundation or the Peach Perfect Foundation. Um, but those are, you know, it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges, right? Because those foundations are, you know, do claim to be long wearing and they do claim to have a natural matte finish where this is not really touching any of those claims. This is more of a natural radiant medium coverage. Um, yeah, so... So I can't really say that I fault it. I think that it does stand up and live up to its claims. Um, of course, I wouldn't know about the skincare benefits. I've only worn it one day. I need to wear it for a longer period of time to see if I really notice an improvement in my skin after a few weeks. But um, I think this foundation is definitely worth a shot if you are someone that has dry, dehydrated skin or you're someone that likes a natural, radiant finish foundation. For a radiant finish foundation, I think that it has great wearability. I hope you guys found this review helpful. I would love to know your thoughts on this foundation if you uh, wear this foundation, what type of skin do you have and how do you feel about it? How do you, how do your results compare to mine as far as wearability um, and finish? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.